worry lines can run deep. With increasing commodity prices, higher price volatility, and rising input costs, America's farmers rely on crop insurance to protect their crops and livestock. Crop insurance, providing peace of mind now and for the next generation of agriculture. Representative Larry Bouchon, thank you for joining the webcast today. Oh, you're welcome. Um, would you like to start by telling us if the first year of the 112th session met your expectations? Well, it, it did in some respects, in some respects it didn't. Uh, I think we did move the ball down the field on spending mm -hmm. uh, with uh, decreasing, dis decreasing discretionary spending for the last two budget cycles, which is the first time that's happened since World War II. Uh, we also made some headway on changing the conversation in Washington, D.C., from where do we spend money to where w do we uh, get our budget under control and to uh, streamline and make government more efficient. So uh, those are all positive things. I wish things would move a little more quickly, but overall it met my expectations for the year, uh, I think. What does the nation need to accomplish for 2012 in the House? Well, you know, we have a high unemployment rate. That's our focus. Job creation, unemployment rate's been over 8% for percent now for uh, over 30 months. And if you talk to people out there in Indiana and around the country, the biggest concern is how do we get people back to work? How do we get our unemployment rate down? People are nervous, and to a certain extent, people are mad that their government has not been able to uh, improve this economy. So I think uh, on our side uh, of the aisle this year, our focus will be on job creation and the economy to get things, uh, get things moving, get people back to work. You represent the 8th District of Indiana. Can you tell us a little bit about your district? Yeah, my district is uh, very rural. The largest city is Evansville, Indiana, which is approximately 130,000 people. Uh, and then Terre, Terre Haute is the next largest town, and then Vincennes, and then uh, a lot of smaller communities. Uh, a lot of farming, a lot of coal mines. Uh, my district has every coal mine in the state of Indiana except for one at this point. Uh, so very hardworking uh, taxpayers in my district. Uh, and uh, uh, it's been a, really a pleasure to get around all the smaller communities and just see how, how people live in the Midwest. What are some of the legislative issues that are on the minds of farmers in your district? Well, the big, the, some of the big issues, of course, are uh, what's going to happen with ethanol, uh, but others are primarily related to EPA and what's happening through the regulatory agencies uh, here in Washington, D.C. Uh, they're very concerned about uh, the farm dust regulation, which uh, I was a co-sponsor of the bill that we passed to stop EPA's overreach in that area. They're concerned about a lot of other areas where EPA is really getting involved uh, and, to, and being very aggressive, and it's going to hurt business for, for agriculture. So, uh, you know, the farm bill's coming up next year. I'm not on the Ag Committee, but uh, that's right now in the back of their minds, but starting to move to the front, and uh, so those are the big things. Can you tell us a little bit about your work on the Transportation Committee? Yeah, on transportation, you know, we've, had, we've been trying to get authorized a long-term highway bill here all last year, and we're on the cusp of that now. And I think over the next month you'll see us uh, hopefully getting a long-term highway bill reauthorized because that creates stability for our, our workers around the country, knowing that the federal government has a, the, the highway money in place uh, and so the certainty is created. And let me tell you, this is going to be a huge jobs bill. Uh, you know, around the country, both parties, you know, the president and us have been talking about jobs. But if you look at the p things that we've done, and including what this highway bill is going to show, uh, I think you're going to see Republican leadership on jobs. Uh, this bill is going to be big, uh, and uh, we're hopeful that that's going to happen. You know, for my district, I'm focusing on getting Interstate 69 completed between Evansville and uh, Indianapolis, and uh, we're making good progress. Can you tell us a little bit more about your background and what led you to run for Congress? Yeah, before I did this, uh, I grew up in a small town in Illinois, 1,400 people. My dad was a coal miner, mom was a nurse. Uh, worked my way up through college and medical school, and I had the, the good fortune uh, to uh, uh, be a heart surgeon for 15 years, uh, cardiovascular and thoracic surgery, uh, helping hundreds of patients, including a lot of Medicare patients. Uh, with their medical problems. But I really felt like we needed more physicians in Congress to give that perspective. Since health care obviously is a huge issue now and will be probably for the foreseeable future. And I've kind of been a political junkie, you know, my whole life. So uh, com combining the fact that I'm a political junkie and I thought we needed more doctors in Congress, 
uh, I decided to run, and honestly, I feel honored and privileged to, uh, to be here. Congressman Larry Bouchon, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.